and I, they have the expression bloi pi, which literally means releasing dead spirits. It comes from a habit of people who practice black magic that have spells that force dead spirits to do their dirty work. And apparently you have to let your spirits off and have a vacation every now and then. And they can go out and they can do whatever they want. Then they come back and then they have to behave themselves, submit to your power. And the expression is also taken on another meaning, which means basically you've been feeling cooped up, you've been feeling bottled up, and you're just going to let everything out. So, so if you're going up the mountain today, make sure you don't blow pee. Getting out in nature is a good time to be mindful. It's just you and nature. And you want to watch your mind as you go through nature. This is what the Johns would do when they would go in there in Tudong. It wasn't that they were out going out just for the, the fun of it. They had a purpose. And as they would walk on Tudong, they would do walking meditation at the same time. Stay with your body, stay with your mind. Because that's where all the really interesting things are. It's good to have a change of scenery every now and then. But again, that's only in the background. The foreground should be the mind. There was one time we had a monk visiting from Bangkok at Wat Thammasatit. And one evening as the sun was setting and the, the rays of the sun were almost horizontal, as in just before the sunset, a golden color going across the fields. It was very pretty. And he happened to comment on how pretty the sunset was. And John Fung's immediate comment was, well, who's saying that it's pretty? Watch that person, because that's the instigator. That's the troublemaker. And sometimes when you change your scenery, you get to see the troublemaker in new ways that you wouldn't have seen if you just went through the same routine day in and day out. So that's the advantage of getting out, changing scenery. It throws your mind into a new perspective. Because as I said last night when the Buddha talks about mindfulness, when you're sitting in formal meditation, he says, stay anchored with the breath even when you're engaged in the other frames of reference, feelings, mind states, mental qualities. The breath is your reference. Everything gathers here. When you're out and about, try to maintain restraint of the senses. Again, stay with the body. That's your post that the animals get tied to, so they don't go dragging one another off into strange directions. So stay anchored right here. Wherever you go, stay right here. And when the mind goes surging out, flowing out to something, hey, you don't go with it. Watch it. And you'll learn an awful lot. 